Welcome to Jacksonville, annual site of one of the best rivalries in the sport. The Gators and the Dogs, you put them together on a football field, sparks fly and memories are made. This is the kind of game that can help define an entire season. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it as we'll see the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on another team from the SEC, the Florida Gators. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Hermstreet. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The Bulldogs will kick this away to start us off. Turn starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. So the Florida Gators offense making their way on the field to open this game. And the focus, of course, on this quarterback, Kirk. This guy just has the it factor. He is him, as they say. Well, Chris, we've had a chance to watch this guy closely all year. And I don't know if I've ever seen a kid throw the football like this guy. His awareness in and out of the pocket is special. Makes the catch for a huge gain right near the sideline. Four set of bounds after a big gain. This offense set up for the first down. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. And let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big gain. drive stays alive with that first down completion going with the old counter run here goes backwards losing three yards there what makes a really good counter play is selling it to the defense so you're going to go one way and then handing it off in the opposite direction but if you don't sell it you're just giving the defense more time to see what's going on they can come up and make the tackle just like you saw there Important second down play coming up. Looking to pass, it's Mertz. Quick throw complete to the tight end. Receiver brought down after a short pitch and catch. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. The sophomore able to get home with the sack. This is exactly how you can slow down the momentum and the rhythm of an offense. you got to get some tackles for a loss and some sacks. This time, they come up with a sack by getting after that quarterback. And the Gators will bring their punt team onto the field. And he should be able to pin them back deep here with his first punt. And the kick angles out of bounds, so no return possible here. So the Georgia Bulldogs offense takes the field. Our first chance to see them today. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. Tough running there. Breaks a tackle, picks up the first down. Chris, what I love here is just the vision by the running back. Showing great patience, the hole opens up, and then he's able to use his speed to pick up some good yards. The first and ten play coming up for the offense. Here comes a handoff. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. Here's the second down play. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. Ball handed to the running back. And they keep the drive going. It's a first down to the 46.
The dogs come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Quarterback keeps the football. Defense gets him down, but they'll take the gain on that play. Well, I think we can all see how tough it is to control this guy under center today for this defense, but they did a nice job of keeping him contained. But they've got to stay focused. They can't get lazy because we could see him breaking one any moment against this defense. Second down after that run on the previous play. Caught over the middle. It's Bell. And the game just good enough for a first down. Great execution on the RPO. Quarterback does a nice job as he's putting the ball into the belly of the back, making sure to read his key. This defense was determined. They came up to stop the run. Quarterback saw it, pulled it out, hit the quick slant right behind it for some great yards. They're going to run it. Back gets the carry. And they'll be smarter right at the line for no gain. Second down play coming up. Looking to throw. It's back. Receiver makes the grab. Finds room with the 30. Finds just enough space and makes the first down. Now this wide receiver has it all. We know about his leaping ability and his speed. But what I've seen today is the precise route running. Another example of it there, and the timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty. The dogs are going to cash in here in the red zone. Here comes a throw from the red zone. Makes the grab. It's Thomas. Brought down, but the completion moves the ball inside the 10-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. They'll try the right here. Looks like Georgia will have the first down. The Dogs looking to finish the drive here. It's first and goal. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. The defense all over. They stop him right at the line. Second down and goal. Upcoming. They'll try to power it in right up the middle. Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, dogs. And Kirk, how important is that to get off to a positive start to draw first blood in a rivalry game like this? Well, Chris, as you know, in a rivalry game, there's so much emotion. So to be able to put a touchdown on the board first just sets the tone for a big day. They're setting out to try the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7-0 to open scoring. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here?
Second down after that previous play. Back to pass. It's Mertz. Oh, and it's nearly intercepted, but dropped by an excellent defensive player. It's going to bring up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Ending off on the draw play. They bring him down, but that's a good play. Moves the ball to the 39. Hey, how about the quarterback here with his eyes downfield selling the pass to open that play up? Man, offensive line. Really good job of selling and then getting upfield to that second level to be able to pick up some key blocks. The Gators will have first and 10 here. They snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Grab down the middle. It's Wilson. He's brought down quickly as short gain gets him a few yards closer to the marker. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. Hand off to the back. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. Well, Chris, you think about over the years with the Gators and their offense, it's always about Steve Spurrier and spreading it out and fun and gun and attacking downfield. I think these great Gator teams, they have an ability to do what we just saw right here. Pick up a first down on the ground, relying on that offensive line and their running back. They'll give it to the back. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. Offense set for the sixth play in this drive. Takes the handoff. It's Webb. And that's a solid game before the defense able to bring him down. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football. And by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. Tackle inside the 40, and it's good enough for a first down. Man, I love the toughness from this offense here on third down and short. Being able to get behind a big physical offensive line, they get a hat on a hat, get enough of a push, and the back is able to get behind there and find just enough real estate to pick up the first down. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. And in first down, they go right back to him. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Things just appeared to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. Getting set. Here's second down. Ending off on the draw play. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. The draw is a good way to keep the defensive line in check and use their aggressiveness against them. It can be real effective, even in passing situations, if you mix it incorrectly. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. And on the right side, that's a big gain. Tackle made after a big gain. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. They've flipped ends of the field. We're ready now for the second period. Fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff.
coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Offense will keep it on the ground here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. They convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point half a play. Touchdown or field goal. To throw, it's Merckx. Incomplete, but yeah, here comes a penalty marker now. That should be a drive extending first down. Man, playing defensive back has got to be the toughest job out there right now in college football. You get isolated on islands against these freaky, talented receivers. It's hard enough to be able to stay up with them and try to make a play on the ball, and often you end up bumping them downfield and you get a call like this. Let's see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. Fights his way in for the score. Touchdown, Florida. Chris, we get so caught up in this era of the spread, of throwing the football and the quarterback and the receivers. This is a great example of the value of having a running back that has a nose for the end zone and can take it in for a touchdown. And they'll set up for the PAT. And he knocks it right through. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And he'll lead the kickoff right there. They'll start from the 25. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here over the defense? Come up with a stop. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they don't block the defensive end who shows some quickness, Kurt, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Solid game, moves the ball to the 29. So it's third and long from the 29. The defense play coverage or blitz. Back to throw. It's back. Running back grabs it on a screen. And he's brought down just short of the marker on that play. Good job by the defense to prevent the first down. Made the catch, but he was surrounded for not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. With the return, it's Hawkins. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And the Florida offense retakes the field. Really excellent possession last time. They mixed the run and the pass, kept the defense off balance and route to a touchdown. And they've got him, but there's also a flag on the play. Offense will have to overcome the holding penalty now. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Short connection to the tight end here. But a huge hit by the linebacker. What a tackle. Second down after that run on the previous play.
There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Nice grab. It's Badger. They lose the ball to about the 45. That's good for a first down. Great execution here by this offense against zone coverage with a curl route. Hit that last step in your drop. You see where you want to go with it? Put it right on his shoulder for a first down. First down here for this offense. Here's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. As the first down is still going. They can't slow him down. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. The Gators lining up here on first and ten. Receiver in motion now. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play. They're in position to bring him down for a loss. Offense getting set. It's second down. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. In the clear at the 25. Good enough for first down yardage. Just a great play by the running back here. Finding his lanes and then exploding through the gap when it opened up. And the Gators looking to cash in this red zone trip. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. They stop him after a six-yard gain. So second and four. This is the sixth play on the drive. And the flag is out before the snap. The defense may have been a little bit over-eager that time. So early contact with the defense, it'll push the ball up five yards. The Gators come to the line with first and goal. Using his legs, it's Johnson. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. All right, second down and goal now for this us. Oh, and a flag before the snap. Looked like the defense jumped into the neutral zone there. Offense getting closer to the goal line after the encroachment penalty. Defense bringing out some big fellas trying to stuff the run here. On the ground trying to punch it in for the score. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. Well, I just love to see an offense finish off a drive. You get inside that five-yard line, you've got to be able to pound the ball to the goal line and into the end zone. Great job to finish it off. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT makes it a seven-point lead. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Physical run breaks through a tackle. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? And the quarterback keeps it on the option. And he's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's check out this call.
Holding penalties can be the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it stalls this one. And the wideout goes in motion. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. You know, each receiver brings something a little bit different to the table, Chris. To me, the outside receivers usually a little bit longer, taller guys. You get those slot receivers in the inside, not only can they make the catch, but they have quickness to make plays after the catch. Great example of that right here. Here's the handoff. Fighting off the defender. He shows off the juking ability, but not much room to run. It's a short game. Boy, I thought he might shake free there. He's able to break one tackle, but give credit to the secondary. Good job of coming up with run support. Second down after that run on the previous play. Well, the defense appeared to jump before the snap, and the flag comes out. Mental mistake with the defense. That'll cost him five yards. Second down play coming up for this offense. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Looking for his big tight end. And it's complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. So off the play fake there, the big tight end gets open downfield. Well, I love this call right here. Anytime you can run the football, eventually it opens up play action. Linebackers and safety's eyes are in the backfield. They lose the tight end completely, and a quarterback throws that one on rhythm for a nice game. And the single back takes the handoff. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. The game makes it second and medium. Looking for a gap. It's ETN. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. That run sets up a critical third down play. To throw, it's back. Quick throw to his receiver. Pass caught. Can he get in? And he will score! Touchdown, Bulldogs! So we're all tied up after that one, Kirk. A potential shootout on our hands here? Yeah, the offense does their job and ties this thing up. Now the pressure switches to the other side for an answer. Kicking team on now for the extra point. And there's the point after. The kickoff team on the field now is they get set to send this one away. And it's field and Berturner trying to create good field position here. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. The Gators offense retakes the field. A beautiful, balanced drive reached the end zone last time. Can they keep it going here? Moves the ball out across the 30. And that's good for a first down. What well, nice first down here by this running back. And what he's doing today makes me reflect on some of the great backs that they've had over the years in Gainesville. Emmett Smith, arguably one of the best backs, if not the best back in the history of the game. Damian Pierce more recently, but even guys like Eric Rett and Fred Taylor, just really talented running backs with the ability to take it to the house. We'll take a quick pause before the half as we reach the two-minute warning. And 
Now it's second down here. Back to pass. It's Mertz. Makes a quick catch. The Gators look to keep this drive moving. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing and a good job of squeezing that in between the defenders. They'll crank the tempo here for this next play. Looking to throw it on first down. Caught on the outside, it's Wilson. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Chris, it's so much fun to watch the athleticism at the wide receiver position nowadays. The ability to make plays on the outside is extraordinary. And they bring a certain toughness, too, that catches my eye. That completion makes it second and short. On the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Cut quickly. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Now, the receiver does all the work here. Man, that is easy living for this quarterback. Really good footwork by the receiver. Gets the separation. And at that point, it's just pitch and catch for the quarterback. They move the six. The hurry to the line here on first down now. Back to throw again. Makes the catch. It's Badger. They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening now. And the Gators with first and ten here. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up to throw. Caught near the sideline. It's Wilson. And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. The key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch or a slight hesitation, and that's an incompletion or an interception. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Back to throw. It's Mertz. Pass not complete. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. Dropping back, we're gonna throw for the first down. Caught near the goal line. He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Florida. So they find the reliable tight end, and he makes the defense pay that time. You know, the receivers a lot of times get most of the attention, but don't forget about how potent a tight end can be. When you've got a player like this who can run routes, and a serious weapon that they can utilize, and they just did right there. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. He knocked through the extra point. The lead is 7, 21-14. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. He thought about returning it, but instead takes a knee. It'll be a touchback, and they'll start at the 25. And the Bulldogs' offense is back out on the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. And a timeout is called important stage late here in the second quarter. Second down after that run on the previous play. From the gun, he looks for an open man. And it's going to be incomplete. Defense had a great chance for the pick. Couldn't come up with it. Offense will try to convert a third and long from the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. To the air. It's back. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Takes it out to the 44. That's good for a first down. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? 
There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. And he's going to stretch the defense, taking a deep shot here. Touchdown, Georgia. It was a foot race, and he won it. The key to me in this is the quarterback gets the ball out of his hands early, allows the receiver to run underneath that deep ball on that post route for a beautiful touchdown. And they get set now to try the PAT. And it's up and good. So the offense gets momentum scoring before halftime. Now the kickoff will see if the defense can get a stop and preserve that momentum. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down for a touchdown. Throws a stiff arm. Snags the quick throw. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Looking for some space. It's Johnson. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. And the offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. How aggressive will they be on this first down play? Looking to pass. It's Mertz. Catch made over the middle. Brought down, but not before he gets into enemy territory at the 49. Timeout is called to talk strategy. Time for just one or two plays here before halftime. So the offense looking to be efficient here. Not much time remaining before the end of the half. And looking to throw now on first down. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. time enough for one more play in the half. And the QB will try again on second and ten. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And the deep shot falls incomplete. But wait, there is a flag on the play. So we'll check that out. Obviously the defense will decline that penalty on the offense and take the result of that play. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Fellas, it's one thing to have a rivalry game, but when you have two longtime foes like the Gators and Dogs duking it out on neutral turf, you know emotions will run high. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working. And I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Florida and Georgia plays out. And the Bulldogs will kick this away to get the second half going. And here's the return from inside the five. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Off target and incomplete.
The offense now facing a third and long from the 26. Got to avoid a mistake here. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. It's an out route, the catch made. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. Well, that's a nice completion to the sideline with great timing. The connection between the receiver and the quarterback was on full display to be able to get that first down. Georgia getting set for the first and 10 now. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Handoff running right. He's found some room at the 45. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. How about the offensive line here? Just a hat on a hat, opening up just enough room for the back to squeeze through there for a nice game. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Tackled quickly after the catch, he'll be short of the marker. Offense getting set, second down play here. From the shotgun, an inside handoff. They stop him, but it's a first down. And that's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. Don't forget, good blocking up front by the big fellas. And this running back, he just seems to have a nose for that first down marker. A few more runs like this, and he's going to be getting into a rhythm for sure. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Makes a quick grab. They bring him down after a short gain there. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Caught in the backfield. It's ETN. Nowhere to run. No corral him for no gain. Boy, they're just fundamentally sound right where you want to be after the completion. Nowhere to go after that catch. Crucial. Third down play coming up. Scanning the field. It's back. Quick throw. Catch made on the out route. Ball carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup was good enough to move the chains. First down. So hang on here. We've got a timeout as the coach wants the officials to take another look. He thinks he might have a shot at getting this overturned. So if the challenge doesn't work, that'll cost the head coach a timeout. We'll see if that comes into play later in the ballgame. Now play number nine on this drive. Looking to throw yet again. Caught over the middle. It's Lovett. Well, that time they're able to work the slot across the field on the drag. Precise route and a good throw. And the long drive continues. The offense pushing the ball down the field. The pre-snap motion from the offense. Grab down the middle. It's Bell. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. Chris, that's a great example of his arm strength. He just fired the ball in there much quicker than the defense could even react. First and ten play coming up. And the running back takes the handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they run it right into a blitz, and that linebacker was coming down Hilker. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back had nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. Same tailback, another carry. 
And the defense wraps him up. Well, the offense goes with a counter play here, and the defense does a pretty good job of slowing it down. Again, you got to be disciplined on defense. Just when you think they're running on the front side, they run that counter play, and you better be home on the back side. So here we go, third down in the red zone, the kind of play that decides football games. Dropping back, it's back. Looking to the end zone. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. Chris, that ball's tipped up into the air, and it's anybody's football. The defense, first of all, does a great job of anticipating a throw down in the red zone, and they're in great position to knock that ball up. But it was exciting to see would anybody come up with it once it was in the air. Look at this. They flip it to the kicker. Who's going to try to run for it? And he did not get there. The defense with a huge fourth down stop. And the back gets the football. And he's brought down, but there is a flag on the field. So let's check this call. So the offense obviously will decline the penalty and take the result of the play. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Think about quickness, that play is absolutely blown up in no time. Chris, I don't know if that's a misassignment by the offensive lineman or just really good instincts there by the defender, but that play is blown up right at the snap. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? Here's a screen pass to the running back. That play is blown up. Defense makes the tackle in the backfield. Great job here by the defense of sniffing out this screen. You can see the defensive linemen, the linebackers, everybody running to that running back. Because of that team pursuit, it's a big loss for the defense. The Gators will send their punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. And he's able to get the boot away. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Runs through the defender. A solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. Breaks a tackle, and he's got room. Juked one tackle and picks up first time yardage. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact, but that wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. First down and 10 now. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. Finding some room at the 25. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. They trust the left side of that offensive line and come up with a huge play on the ground. Yeah, your favorite, Chris, there. The old pin and pull there to the left side. Great blocking on the left side, able to create a great push. Nice crease in the back. Found that with the vision and picks up some big yards for that first down. With the catch, it's Urasek. Then he'll run out of bounds after picking up a few yards on the play. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Takes the ball and heads to the left. 
They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well within field goal range now, but they're hoping for more as they line up here on third down. Dropping back, it's Beck. Locates the tight end, it's complete. They make the stop just short of the marker. It's going to be fourth down and inches to go. Well, I thought we'd see this tight end all game long within this game plan, but that's just his second catch of the game. The defense has done a nice job of being able to recognize where he is and take him out of this plan. Coach electing to go for a field goal attempt. Right down the middle. And they've regained the lead. Chris, they get the three points, but looking back at it, fourth and inches. Pretty conservative call there. I really thought they would have gone for it. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. They'll return it from inside the five. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Florida offense retakes the field. They're coming off a quick three and out, so looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. Falls incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. It is really tough on a quarterback when he thinks he's got a completion and an open man downfield. The ball's just about to get to his receiver, and then out of nowhere, the defensive back steps in front of it and knocks away. Nice job. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He's past the marker and still going. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. You know, all week, the defensive coordinator told us about the quarterback. He told us about the receivers and how they're going to throw the football. But, man, they better get locked in on stopping this run game because that was a big-time game. The offense will set up on first and ten. He'll hand it off. They've got him down out near the 40. Game makes it second and medium. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. You know, everybody always wants to talk about quarterbacks today and receivers. And don't get me wrong, that's a big part of the evolution of the game and where we are. Man, for me, as a fan, when I'm watching a game, there's just something satisfying about the teams and the offenses that still have backs that can carry the ball and come up with plays like that. Move those sticks and keep this drive going. And he's brought down after a short gain does not make the first down yardage. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. Important second down play coming up. He hands it to the back. And they try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. We've reached the end of three. Time is running out to cut into the lead. Let's take a look at the game sets before we move on. We're set now for the fourth court. Who is going to make the crucial plays to take home this W? Looking downfield, it's Mertz. Let's it fly out of the wideout. Oh, and he dropped it. You don't see that often from this guy. Brings up fourth down. The Gators will bring their heel. He's on to boot it away now.
and the punt goes out of bounds. The officials now will mark the spot. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they moved it, but settled for a chip shot. So sort of an unsatisfying result. Looking to do more here. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. The gain is three. Now it's second down and seven. Hey, I can understand the play call here. Backed up deep in your own territory, working with the lead in the fourth quarter. But you got to be careful being too conservative. As this defense right now, they're trying to get the football back, and they're selling out against this run game. Here's the second down play. Tackle made after the completion. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays, but the slot receivers are just as exciting, especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Off play action, he's looking to throw. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. The Bulldogs will have to punt this one away. They're going to kick it away for the second time. He'll call for the fair catch here. The Gators offense retakes the field. The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. Well, that's one of those plays that works better against certain defensive looks, but not every defense is the same. They were all over that one. Let's see if they continue to attack to the outside on the perimeter to set something up downfield. Caught on the outside, it's Badger. Offense facing third and short, approaching midfield. Can they convert here, or will they face a tough fourth down decision? Looks right for a quick completion. To get him at the 42, good enough for a first down. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down, and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. And the Gators getting set on first and ten. They're going to run it. Has the first down still on the move. They bring him down, but that game moves the ball all the way to the 31. Chris, the thing that I love about this play is the running back showing great patience and then the vision to find that hole and then accelerate through it for a nice game. The Gators pick up enough yardage for a first down. And he's got it again. Picks up a short game, but his swarm of the defense flying to the football. Second down after that run on the previous play. Single back takes the handoff. Runner finding some space there. That's a solid gain on the ground. Third and short in the 22. You expect this is four down territory. Let's see what they do on third down. Caught over the middle. It's Hanson. And they tackle him, but not before he picks up the first. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Pulls it in. It's Johnson. 
Tackle at the six-yard line after the completion. Offense really threatening now. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Man, every defensive coordinator will tell you, I just want my guys to play fast. And how about that one right there? He almost ends up tackling the quarterback as he's handing the ball off. This offense is lucky they didn't end up fumbling. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. Looking downfield, it's Mertz. Launching one to the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. That puts them on top in the second half. Oh, man, I think the defense was so caught up with their eyes on the quarterback, they completely lose the running back out of the backfield. Nice job by the play caller here of getting the ball out to the running back instead of the receiver for the touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT up and good. The lead is four here in the final quarter. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And bulldozing his way through. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. in the play sets up second and long from the 18. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Brought down, but broke could tackle to produce a solid gain there. Third down play. Looking for a fresh set of downs. Play fake, he'll look to throw it. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Boy, Chris, what a hit there on that third down play by the defensive back. If he doesn't make that play, that's probably a first down, and they move the sticks. Instead, we've now got fourth down. The Dogs will bring their punt team on the field now. And the returner elects to fair catch it. No return. And the Florida offense is back out on the field now. Handoff here from the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, these are the kind of plays you have to make to be able to win the game in the second half. This back had a great first half and has gotten plenty of touches. So you've got to make sure this half is different than how things have gone so far. Second down play coming up. Dropping back. It's Mertz. Pressure is coming. He's going to take off. Breaks loose at the 40. Slides to avoid the big hit. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, in which he did, and then he slides down to avoid the big hit. The offense really clicking here. They'll hand it off. It's good for a three-yard gain, so second and seven. Yeah. 
and he'll ride the back again here. And they finally stop him, but a decent game that time. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half, and he's already at it again. Third down after that running play. Receiver in motion now. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. The game picks up the first down, tackled at the 37. A nice little simple touch pass here by the quarterback, getting the ball out to the receiver who's in motion. Look, that doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down, and no offense is ever going to say no to moving the chains. The Gators looking to keep this drive moving. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to run some clock. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Positive yards are always important for an offense, but at this stage of the game, late in the ball game, playing with the lead, you're thinking about working that clock and continuing to keep the ball in bounds. This drive has already taken more than three minutes off the clock as you come up on second down. The throw, it's Mertz looking for the wideout. He's got it for a big game. Takes it all the way to the house. Touchdown, Florida. So the offense flexing Herkert and stretching their lead here in the second half. Yeah, that touchdown gives you a little bit more breathing room, but now it's up to your own defense to help preserve that lead so you can go back out and build onto it in the second half. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point is up and good. So the lead now is 11 here in the final quarter. Now they get set to kick it away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Short throw complete to the tight end. Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball for 31. Chris, we get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability and getting them the ball in space. And like the defense has to pay attention to them. Often too much attention, opens up an underneath drag route like this, and quarterback makes a good read, nice first down. Here comes a first down pass attempt. The sure hands, it's Thomas. Tackle finally made, but it's a big gain. Moves the ball to the 48. The offense really clicking against this battle defense. Scanning the field, it's back. Quick throw over the middle. There's a wide open receiver complete. They finally get him down, but an explosive play. The offense in business now at the 24. Now the offense is taking advantage of the defense kind of sitting back with this lead. That's back-to-back -back plays of big yards. You know, it's a bend but don't break mentality from this defense but they might want to reevaluate because this offense is moving the ball too quickly down the field. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Makes the catch. Can he get in? They stop him at the four, but it sets up this offense with a first and goal. The offense will take their first ten out of the half to talk strategy here. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. It's a quick grab. Brought down at the three after the completion. The offense really threatening now. But crank up the tempo here with the clock ticking down. Second down.
Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Launching one to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Dogs. Well, hold on now, Chris. We're under two minutes to go, and these guys will not go away. They hit this extra point. You cover an onside kick. You never know. Coach deciding to go for two, trying to cut this lead to a field goal late in the game. To the air, it's back. And he makes the grab in the end zone. The two-pointer gets him back within a field goal. I believe they're gonna line up here and go for the onside kick. And the receiving team makes the recovery. The hands team does its job perfectly. The defense with more pre-snap movement. And the Florida offense retakes the field. Can they play keep away here? Just protect this lead in the final two minutes. One man at the backfield, and he'll get the football. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. And the Gators expect to run the clock out here in the final minute and secure the W. On the run, it's Johnson. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. So the job is simple here, just take a knee, run out the clock, and begin the celebration. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. The attempt is no good. He missed it. The lead remains three after that miss. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. Check the clock here. Probably time for just one last play. On first and 10, they'll look to throw it. And now in the final couple minutes, here's a deep shot. And that last pass falls incomplete. That will do it. Game over. 